Hi, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leos. We are in Leo season. So to all of you out there, sun, moon, and rising, happy birthday. Uh, well, mostly <laughs> sun, right? Um, but if you do have Leo in your chart, then definitely uh, in your moon or rising as well. Uh, this will and might resonate. I definitely encourage you guys to check out your moon and rising. Um, don't just connect to the sun sign. Uh, some messages could be uh, very precise and exact um, depending on the astrological alignments, obviously. So I do highly encourage you guys to check your moon and rising as well. Anyways, let's get into the reading. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of August 2018. So for your communications, with communication, how you'll be communicating for the month of August, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles definitely talks about um, perhaps connecting or communicating with someone that is close to you. It could be uh, work-related. It could be having a lot of communication happening back and forth with people that you work with or people that surround yourself, um, that's around you, sorry, in your work field. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is definitely a card uh, where they see you very, very focused, uh, very hard worker, um, definitely trying to achieve or trying to get to a higher ranking position. Um, definitely with the Nine of Pentacles as a communication card, this is definitely speaking about higher ups. Um, this could be supervisors, this could be owners, this could be uh, people that are of a higher ranking position than yourself, definitely taking notice and looking again, like I said, at your hard work and communicating between them um, in regards to pushing you to the next level. So that's definitely a good card. Now for your pentacles and um, finances, you have the knight of swords. So the knight of swords definitely talks about communication. Um, this could represent a bit of a, compli a conflict uh, for the month of July, uh, sorry, for the month of August. I don't know why I said July. For the month of August, uh, in regards to finances, this could be a bit of a spiteful type of energy. This could, for those of you guys that have children that are dealing with like the mother figure, or the father figure, uh, and, and they give child support or stuff like that, they may be a bit of a challenge for the month of August. And I feel that it's more of like resentful type of energy. I don't feel that it's going to be a blockage to you, although I do feel that they may be a little bit more difficult to deal with for the month of August. Again, like I said, it could have to do with um, just being a bit spiteful or being a bit immature, as obviously knights are immature type of energy. Uh, not as bad as a page, but it is still immature type of energy. Now, in regards to uh, finances, for those of you guys that are single, uh, try the best you can to be more mindful of how you spend and how you save money uh, for the month of August. I don't see any restrictions as we did start the month with the Nine of Pentacles. Nonetheless, I do feel that there may be um, an expense that may come up for the month of August that is unexpected. So just make sure to uh, not be spending or overspending on stuff you don't really need as uh, there may be some a bit of a unexpected expense coming up for you guys for the month of August. Now, in regards to your challenge for the month of August, you have the sun card. Oh, oh wow. Okay. So, Leos, you guys definitely don't have a challenge. Again, like I said, other than um, for some of you guys, the experience of unexpected expense that may come up, I don't see it something massively. And with the sun as a challenge, there's definitely no sun. Uh, sorry, no sun. Uh, no challenge there. You're definitely overcoming. Uh, the sun obviously is a representation of the Leo energy, but it also speaks about blessings coming your way that are unexpected. Um, so what I mean by unexpected, um, I don't see a challenge in the sun other than, you know, take the time to truly take the time to truly enjoy yourself or enjoy the company of your children or the camp, uh, the company of family and relatives, uh, Learn to be a little bit more grateful for the month of August. Um, be very, understand that, you know, where the mind goes, energy flows. And this, especially because it is your month, um, Leo, it's very important to be grateful. Look back towards the past in a positive way, how far you've come along um, through difficulties, through strife, whatever it is that life's, um, have brought you lessons and take that with you but also be grateful and thankful because 
it gives us experience it gives us knowledge and it gives us wisdom so again uh be more in the gratitude type of energy for the month of august now your love and emotions you do have the seven of swords here i don't like this card uh, seven of Swords could represent a bit of sneakiness behavior from your partner or feeling um, that they are keeping things hidden from you. Although I don't really see in the cards uh, for some of you guys, this could represent some of you guys that recently became single from spitefulness, um, sneakiness behavior or that they in fact were talking or communicating with other people. And you came to the realization that perhaps it's best to walk away from this relationship. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I feel that for the month of August, there may be a challenge in regards to trust. Trust issues is what I'm hearing. So again, um, are they really giving you reasons to doubt? Or is this something that is just um, kind of like mind games? Are they just being standoffish and cold because perhaps you haven't been the natural loving type lately um, and they may be thinking that or they may be feeling that there's some sneakiness uh, happening with you or that you're keeping some things hidden from them. Um, I don't feel that this is, you know, in any shape, way, or form that there is a sneakiness behavior, um, but it is a general reading, so it, de it depends. Um, because the Seven of Swords, obviously, there's there's just sneakiness. I don't like sneakiness, um, but I don't, I don't see any other negative energies other than the Knight, and the Knight has to do with communication. So, again... Um, it is the air, the element of air, so it is communication. Again, uh, it could be that you're a little bit more reserved with your emotions or how you're feeling and you're not really expressing this to your partner. They may be interpreting this as you are keeping things hidden or vice versa. It is a general reading. So for your spirits advice, Leo, for the month of August, beautiful card, uh, my darling Leo, this is your card, the King of Wands. So as a spirit's advice, the king of wands is definitely telling you to believe in yourself, trust in yourself, um, have confidence in yourself and be the beautiful Leo that you are uh, through strife, through difficulties. We always when you overcome that, there is this thicker skin forming. There is this wisdom that cannot be taught. You have to learn the process through that. And sometimes it comes at difficult lessons. Nonetheless, again, believe in yourself and trusting yourself. I see you guys being a little bit more social for the month of August. For those of you guys that are single, uh, you may be seeing a fire sign as well coming into your life. Uh, it could be a Sagittarius, a Leo like yourself, or an Aries. I feel that a lot of Sagittarian and uh, Aries type of energy is coming towards you guys. And this could be a person that is interested in you. For some of you guys, it could represent a person that is in your workplace or that, um, that is connected to your work, again, um, that may be professing their interest or love in you uh, for the month of August. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe, and we'll see each other soon. Uh, blessings, light, and love to all of you guys, and we'll see each other, like I said, soon. <laughs> Bye.